Hello friends, this is Dr. Mitesh Kala, presently teaching in Campion School. Welcome to the online teaching resource. Hi, we are getting into a new topic, probability. Uh, we are breaking this entire topic in two parts, a very simple topic and a very scoring topic. What do you mean by probability? Yes, probability is just a chance. For example, the video that I am making right now, whether will you... Yeah, what am I making? Guess it. Yes, whether will you like it or whether will you not like it. So that's a probability. So what are the total chances? So chance one is you like, chance two is you do not like. So we call that as the sample space. So like and unlike. These are the two possibilities, correct? So number of sample space is two. And let's say if you've liked it, what is the event or what are the chances that you will like it? So we call it as event A and let's say you like it. All right. So number of A becomes one. Therefore, probability of A is number of A that is the event upon number of sample that is S. So one by two. So there are half chances that you might like it and there are half chances that you will not like it. That's what is called as probability. So basically calculating the probability is equal to number of possibilities upon total number of all possibilities or total number of all possibilities. That is what is called as probability. Yeah. Are we clear with probability now? So whenever an event is given, first find out all possible outcomes that is called sample. Then find out the number of samples then all possibility of the event that they are asking for and then finally number of events and probability which will be number of this upon this now two things you need to remember probability value can never be negative not possible it can never be less than zero it can never be lesser than zero and it can never be greater than one these three possibilities are not possible. That means it can never be now lesser than zero means negative, obviously, and greater than one, means one by two or something like that, not possible. So if they give you a fraction, the fraction will always have the denominator bigger. I repeat, the fraction will always have the denominator bigger so that the value becomes less than one or it will be equal to one. It can be equal to one possible. Yes. So the range basically is from zero to one. Any answer in probability, the range always is going to be between 0 to 1. It can never be less than 0. It can never be greater than 1. So let's hit it. Let's take a few questions to understand what probability actually is. So a die is thrown. So when a die is thrown, what are the possibilities? Okay, so die has six numbers. So possibility you can have one. You can also have two, three, four, five and six. Any of these numbers is possible. So therefore we say number of S is equal to six. That is total number of possibilities. Now the first event they said prime number. So let's call it as A. Now what are the prime numbers out of these numbers only? Okay. So one is neither prime nor composite. So just leave it. Start from two. Always remember, don't take one as a prime number. Most of the children do that and they get it wrong. So two, three, five. So number of A is equal to three. Therefore, probability of A is number of A upon number of S. So that is 3 by 6. Always write in the reduced form. If you do not write in the reduced form, one mark lost. So write it in the reduced form without fail. Event B. A number greater than 4. Greater than 4. Not 4. Greater than 4. So what are the numbers greater than 4? 5 and 6. So therefore, number of B is equal to 2. So probability of B is going to be number of B upon number of S. So that becomes two by six, one by three. So can you see the denominator is always the bigger number. That means the value is less than one, but never negative. The last part, event C, a number not greater than four, not greater than four. So should I include four? Less than four is fine, but should I include four? Yes, because they said not greater than four. Four is absolutely fine. So therefore number of C is equal to four. So probability of C will be four by six, two by three. You may not write this every time. This is just for your understanding. You can directly write these numbers, no problem at all. Are you getting this everyone? 
How many of you could manage it on your own? Very good. Let's see if you can manage the next question on your own. I'm 100% sure you will be able to do it. A coin is tossed. So when a coin is tossed, sample space, what are the possibilities? The possibility is you will get a head or you will get a tail. That is the only two possibilities. Always use curly brackets. Okay. So number of sample is equal to two. Now, first one, they said a tail. So out of these two possibilities, how many possibilities have a tail? Only one. So that is only one tail. And therefore you say number of A is equal to one. So come on, pause the video. Get me the probability right now. So number of possibilities one, total possibilities two. That's my answer. Simple, isn't it? Let's go for the next one, a head. So whenever there is a head, only one head is possible in one toss of a coin. So probability of B will be number of, okay, number of B I forgot is equal to one. So one by two should be my answer. How many of you all are able to manage this on your own? If you're able to do that, you all are doing a great job. Let's go ahead with the next question and I am expecting a lot of you all to try it on your own. So I'm number three, think, think. Coin is tossed twice. Coin is tossed twice. So let's go logically. If the coin is to tossed twice, once and twice. So what is the possibility that the first time you have is possibly H and second time also an H. So both times you tossed and both times you might get an H, right? Both times you might even get a T possible. Very good. What is the next possibility? First time I might get a head and then I might get a T or first time I might get a T and then an H. Is there any other possibility apart from this? Both the times head, both the times tail, first time head, then tail, first time tail, then head. That's it. Only four possibilities are there. Yeah, that's how you need to think how possibilities can be generated. So now for the first one, exactly one head, exactly one head, not greater than one, not lesser than one, exactly one head. So one head can be here, one head can be here. But in these two cases, here there are two heads, here there are no heads. So one head and tail and one tail and head. So basically the number of event becomes two. So therefore probability of event is number of event upon total events in the reduced form that is half. How many of you are getting this on your own? If you're getting it, you're doing a brilliant job. Let's try the next one. Exactly one tail. So you can say B. Same logic, exactly one tail. So these two only because here there is one tail. Here there are two tails, no tails. So H and T, T and H. So number of B is equal to two. Therefore probability of B two by four, which also becomes half. Are we getting it? How many of your raise hands got both the sums, both the parts correct? Very good, keep it up. Let's go to the next one, sum number four. Come on, can you try this on your own? Uh, the alphabets used are pencil, right? And what is the possibility that one alphabet chosen is a consonant? So first, let's see what is the sample space. The so sample space can be, uh, you can write it in any order, preferably if alphabetic order, that will be great. So E, then sorry, C will come first. So C, E, I, L, P, and then N. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So possibility of, uh, Sorry, number of samples is equal to six. Now, just in case if an alphabet is repeated here, should you repeat it here? Yes. If it is repeated, you should repeat it here. Do not say that since it's repeating, I will not write it again. You need to write. Okay. Now let's find the consonants. Vowels are A, E, I, O, U, and the rest of them are consonants. So in this E and I, I will not take. Rest I'll have to take. That is C, L, P, and N. So number of A is equal to four. So therefore possibility of A, four by six in the reduced form, two by three. Are you getting it? How many of you will manage this absolutely this way only? Brilliant, very simple question these are and very scoring also. Here, you go with the next one. I'm 100% sure you will manage. They say that there is a bag which contains a black ball, a red ball and a green ball. What is the possibility that when one ball is removed, you get a red ball. So let's let's work it out and see how can we do this one. So first sample space. So what's the sample space? Think and tell me what will be the sample space. Come on everybody. So sample 
one black ball one red ball one green ball so black red and green so therefore number of sample is equal to 3 now first possibility red ball so let's call it as event a a red ball so there is only one red ball therefore one red ball and therefore number of a is equal to 1 so probability of a will be 1 by 3 let's go with the next one b come on think about it how i want to do this the b part exactly same logic not a red ball so if it is not a red ball it could be a black or it could be a green so therefore number of b becomes 2 so probability for b will be 2 by 3 because there are three total balls and the last one c a white ball is there any white ball in this so there is no possibility so the event is going to be empty empty and therefore number of c is equal to 0 so probability of c also is 0 upon 3 don't leave it like that leave it as 0 otherwise they will cut your marks so always write the final answer as 0 if it is 0 upon anything yeah since it's what it was a white ball which is not there possibility is not there at all did you manage to get all three correct really write in the comment section let me know if you got all of them correct and i will be delighted to know that okay again a die is thrown or die is tossed or nay thrown actually so what are the possibilities so sample is going to be 1 2 3 4 5 6 that's it now first possibility so first let's write number of s is equal to 6 so possibility 1 event a greater than 2 so greater than 2 could be 3 4 5 or 6 so therefore number of a becomes 4 so probability for a is 4 by 6 that becomes 2 by 3 did you manage to get this great let's go for the second one b they say less than or equal to 2 less than or equal to 2 so it could be 1 or 2 either of them because they both are less than or equal to 2 so number of b becomes 2 and therefore probability of b is 2 by 6 that is 1 by 3 great third part come on can you pause the video right now try on your own and then come back not greater than 2 not greater than 2 so it could be either 1 or 2 here they said greater than 2 and i wrote greater than 2 but here they're saying not greater than 2 okay less than or equal to 2 less than or equal to 2 not greater than 2 both mean the same actually So number of C is two. So probability of C is two by six, one third. Let's understand these two parts once again. Less than or equal to two. Not greater than two. They both actually mean the same, asked in different ways. Are you getting it? Great. Let's go to the next one. Sum number seven. A bag contains three white, five black, and two red. So sample space: three white, five black. And two red. So number of sample five plus three eight plus two ten. All right. Now first possibility a black ball. So event A. How many black balls are there? Five black balls. So there are chances that you might get five times. Right. So number of A is equal to five, and therefore probability of A will be five upon ten. That's one by two. Did you manage to get it? Can you get me the rest of them? A big list is there. Let's see if you can tackle it. Second one, a red ball. So event B, red. How many red are there? Two red. So therefore, number of B is equal to two. So probability of B is going to be two by ten, which becomes one by five. Yeah. Always in the reduced form. Don't forget that. Otherwise, your marks will be deducted. Next one, C. So in the C, they say a white ball. So three white we have. So three white, and therefore number of C is equal to three. So probability of C is going to be three by ten. Not reducing further, so leave it like that only. Let's go with the next one. Fourth D event, not a red ball, not a red ball. So not a red. That means white and black. So three white and five black. So therefore number of D becomes eight. So probability of D will be eight by ten. That becomes four by five. Got it? And last one, not a black ball. So not a black. That could be three white and two red. So total five. 
फाइव बाई टेन हाफ आई एम नॉट राइटिंग इट यू गोन टू राइट ऑन यूर ओन टू वॉन्ट डू इट ऑल राइट आई एम श्योर बाय नाउ यू गॉट अ गुड हैंड ऑन दिस एंड लेट सी दिस लास्ट पार्ट सम नंबर एट एंड नाइन डैम सिंपल आई एम लिविंग इट फॉर यूर टू डू इट ऑन यूर ओन लेट्स कम बैक विच इवेंट के नॉट बी अ प्रॉबिलिटी इवेंट ओके सो आई टोल्ड यू द लॉजिक फर्स्ट ओनली इट के नॉट बी नेगेटिव इट कैन बी ओनली बिटवीन जीरो टू वन नॉट ग्रेटर देन वन and not lesser than zero remember that okay so pause your video right now write all these answers in your book and then come back to check whether you got all of them correct or not so 2 by 7 obviously between 0 to 1 so you will say yes it is an event 3.8 no because it is greater than 1 37% yeah percent i didn't teach you so let me tell you it can be anything between 0 to 100% yeah anything between this not greater than this Neither lesser than this, so therefore this is going to be yes because thirty-seven percent actually is thirty-seven by hundred, and when you take thirty-seven by hundred, it becomes zero point thirty-seven. So it is very much between zero to one. So do you understand the logic? Why percentage is allowed, but only between zero to hundred. Negative. So straight away we will say no. Point eight is between this range that we want, so yes. Again negative, so no. Again, seven by eight. So greater denominator, definitely less than zero. Therefore, yes. Did you get all of them correct? Let me know in the comment section, and I will be happy to know that you got the concept perfectly. We will stop here. Uh, homework. I want you to do three, six, eight, and nine again, so that you get good hand on it. And in the next video, we will do the next part of the probability, which is very, very important, slightly technical. So please look out for the next video until I upload it. Until then take care stay safe pray for everyone and be honest bye I hope you enjoyed the video please do write your math experience in the comment section thank you